Hello, everybody. It's about that time. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Grace Beer Reviews. Looky here, another Jackie O's beer. This one was also sent to me by Dave. This is Jackie O's Mystic Mama IPA. Uh, it is a 7 percenter. Uh, and this one uh, uh, has a canned on date of 11, 11 of 14. So this one is a little fresher than the one we did yesterday. Uh, it says ale brewed with copious amount of pungent hops. So Dave, thanks again for sending this one down. I actually had one of my subscribers, Tess, uh, ask me uh, if I uh, if I had reviewed this one, and I told her no. And she said, "Well, I'll send you down uh, a couple of cans of it to, to try." And I went and looked in the fridge and seen that Dave had sent me one of these down, and so I contacted her and told her I did have one to uh, to review that Dave had sent me. And uh, she says, "Well, please review it," and I said, "I will." So. Uh, Tess, uh, this, this one is for you, and Dave, thanks again for sending it down. And by the way, Tess, if there's any other Jackie O's beers, because I cannot get them here, that you find that is outstanding that you would like to send down, I would be more than happy to review it for you. So uh, uh, anything else that Jackie O's has that you haven't seen me do a review on that you think that uh, is outstanding? So far, I think everything they've they've uh, they're doing or I have reviewed is pretty 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 tasty so um, love to get my hands on these great beers that aren't available in my area here in Virginia so let's get on with this one commercial description says this is that big sticky hop elixir that I have always wanted to brew Columbus and warrior hops lend an assertive bitterness Amarillo Simcoe and Centennial hops give this beer tons of great flavors of grapefruit tangerines and pine needles all of those are great hops a big dry hop addition of Amarillo and Simcoe give mystic mama a nose to stand up to the flavor soon to be a year-round addition a west coast style ipa that uses five different hops uh, centennial amarillo warrior simcoe and columbus giving it giving it tons of flavor aroma and assertive bitterness seven percent abv with ability to get your hop trigger firing i don't have an ibu listed for this beer and it's not written on the can anywhere that i see so i don't know what the ibus are uh as well as the one we did yesterday, uh, I didn't have the IBUs on this one. Very colorful cans. They have the the name written on the front of it, and then they use it to have some kind of graphic. This one has uh, looks like some kind of uh, tattooed lady with a big purple background with a snake wrapping around it. So very colorful cans that they do at Jackie O's. If, and the bottle that I did uh, of theirs uh, uh, was pretty tasty too. So. Uh, Great beers from Jackie O's. Uh, love to get my hands on some more of their offerings. Uh, that's all it says on the commercial description. And this is an IPA, so the cuisine is curried in a tie. The cheeses are pepper, uh, pepper jack, sharp, blue, cheddar. Uh, your more pungent cheeses go with this. Your gorgonzola and your Lumburgers, your real stronger cheeses. And the meat for this is uh, poultry, fish, shellfish, and salmon. And as always, I add grilled meat to that because I like everything off the grill with my IPAs, whether it's burgers or chops or steaks or chicken or whatever. All of those flavors go well with a nice IPA, especially if you're a high head like I am. And the beer is not recommended for extended salaring, so let me wipe the top of this can down and get it into the glass. Dave, thanks again, once, once again, brother, for sending these beers down to me. I really enjoy this as well as you do. Uh, trying stuff that's not available in my area because I've pretty much gone through all of their beers 
And if it weren't for my wonderful, outstanding subscribers that send me these beers from all around the country and the world, man. I've had beers from Amsterdam, Canada, Brazil, all over the place. So uh, thanks again, my my uh, subscribers. I am humbled that uh, you take the time out of your day to watch my reviews. This poor old country boy. All right, over into the light. Got a finger of head on this one. Nice orange and tangerine color. Don't see a whole lot of floaties or anything in there. There are some small particulates in there. And the bulb, it's got quite a bit of haze to it. So I can see the bulb through it, but it's not perfectly clear. Looks pretty damn good in the glass. Let's get a nose on it. Oh, yes. I love Simcoe hops and Centennial. I grow them. I grow Centennial and Cascades out, out back here. Wonderful, piney, grapefruity smell. Very citrusy, tangerines, oranges, mangoes. Mm, mm, mm. Wonderful aroma on this beer. It's time for the taste. Let's give it the taste. Cheers, everybody. Let's get it on. Cheers, Dave. Wow. Very strong, assertive hop flavor of this. And I know y'all hate to hear me say wow every time I take a drink. It's just, it's just a normal reaction when I have a good beer in my hands. Very strong bitterness on the back end. Not overpowering, but uh, not enough to tell you you're drinking a, a, a nice IPA. Nice sweet citrusy, juicy up front hot profile with just enough malt backbone to balance it out. You guys that's up in the Ohio area that can get these beers on a regular basis, you're very damn lucky. Very tasty beers. Uh, definitely not a, a transitional beer, if you will. If you will. Uh, these have strong American hop profiles. It's up in your face. Very West Coast style, in my opinion, so very tasty. So let me take it back and let her taste it and uh, sip on it for a few minutes and come back and we'll do the final chug. Looks like another A beer. Stick around. We'll find out what the grade is together. All right, guys, I'm back. I just a little left here. This is a very nice IPA, a very, uh, a very pleasant West Coast uh, IPA, if you will, even though it's done in Ohio. A nice East Coast example of what a West Coast IPA is. Mm -hmm. Got a wonderful aroma with the tangerine and pineapple and grapefruit going on in this. Very citrusy. Very balanced, not getting any of the 7% alcohol in this beer. Very well made, final chug. Wow, 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 and another wow on that. Very tasty, guys. Uh, Jackie O's uh, definitely the head brewer there. I don't know who he is or she is, whether it's a male or a female. Uh, to make us some very tasty beers. Uh, I think this is either the third or fourth one that I've had from them. Very tasty. Very, very tasty. Thanks, Dave, for sending those down to me. I have enjoyed everything from Jackie O's so far. Very tasty brewery as far as I'm concerned. You guys in Ohio, pick this stuff up. If you're not, if you're not familiar with it, you can get it. You need to try it. So, for me, guys, this is a nine out of ten. Very nice West Coast style IPA. Uh, over to uh, Beer Advocate. Beer Advocate says eighty-eight in a good range. I think it's considerably better than that. If I was putting a numeric rating on this one, it would probably be like a ninety-six or a ninety-seven. Very tasty. And over to Rate Beer. Rate Beer says overall ninety-seven and ninety-six in the style. So. Very appropriate numbers as far as I'm concerned, and I agree with them wholeheartedly. It is uh, uh, almost to the uh, 100 scale. It's definitely a, uh, an A beer. So I'm giving it a 9, like I said, out of 10. And uh, enjoy this one thoroughly, guys. So, Dave, thanks again, brother. Uh, if you've had this one from the, from uh, Jackie O's, their Mystic Mama 
IPA. Let me know what you think. Very pungent, very nice hop profile of this beer. Let me know if you've had it. Let's go see what's in the fridge tomorrow. See you guys.